A successful businessman and passionate skier, the skiing community owes a debt of gratitude to Mason Beakley for his efforts to preserve the history of our great winter sport. As a founder of the International Skiing History Association and the first visionary behind the acclaimed journal Skiing Heritage, Mason left a vital legacy for future generations to not only enjoy but also learn from. Beakley grew up in Connecticut and started skiing as a child. While attending Princeton, he began collecting books on skiing, while also coaching at the school where he taught following his graduation. Soon, however, the real world beckoned and he joined his father's firm, which printed medical forms. Through his efforts and imagination, he computerized the company's services and created the markers that are placed on the patient to orient x-ray machines. All the while, family and skiing remained an important part of his life. With his wife, Licia, he introduced the sport to his four girls while continuing to collect ski books. By 1990, his library contained over 1,500 titles. Mason expanded his collection to include all forms of ski art, paintings, posters, sculptures, and magazine illustrations. He counted on Andrew Wyeth watercolors and the famous Charles Adams cartoon of ski tracks around a tree. It was said that he single-handedly created the market for the rare ski poster art, his collection growing to the point that he created his own gallery and library to house it. It was aptly coined the Ski Airy. His passion for skiing did not end there. Beakley also understood the importance of the social nature of the sport and sought to encourage outreach to and among those who enjoyed skiing's past. He began by writing to 100 prominent skiers and sports historians, inviting them to join what he called the International Skiing History Association. In 1992, he organized the first gathering of these members at Whistler, British Columbia. The 1993 gathering took place in Sun Valley with speakers including America's first Olympic champion from skiing, Gretchen Frazier, Sun Valley's founder, Bill Jantz, and pioneer ski film producer, John Jay. With the International Skiing History Association now firmly established, Beakley wanted a publication to maintain and expand the connection for the association's members. In 1992, the group took over a small magazine formerly called Snow News, and they renamed it Skiing Heritage, with former ski magazine editor and Hall of Famer Mort Lund as its first editor. Over the years, thanks to Mason's financial support, the publication grew to reach thousands of readers six times a year. Mason Beakley passed away in 2001, but his legacy is still very much alive. It is alive not just in the magazine, but in an acclaimed website filled with stories of skiing history, an annual awards program including a lecture named for him and his incredible collections of books and ski art. His International Skiing History Association is now headquartered at our Sports National Museum in Ishpeming, Michigan. In light of his lifelong passion and accomplishment, Mason Beakley richly deserves to be honored and remembered through his induction into the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame.